we have a problem, Koo. We we have a big fucking problem, Koo. You want to tell the people what happened yesterday? Well, you see, I went out there and I missed two kicks. You missed two kicks. Yeah, because one of them was blocked. And one was blocked. You know, that that reminds me of the Bucks game. You know, kind of like the same thing. But I can't be too upset because this was the theme yesterday in the NFL. Let's see, the Broncos had their kick block, winning kick. Houston Fairburn missed a field goal winning kick. Let the Lions come back and uh, win. Um, but cool, this this been a trend all season long. I want I want you to to tell all of us, cool. What is it going to take? It's going to take me. Losing some money. Oh, cutting down some money. Yeah, it's cutting down some money. money. Benching me, maybe. Oh, putting you on the bench might be the right thing to do. Maybe that, I don't know. Shake the spunk. But uh, we got the Broncos next week up there in Mile High, and they're a little bit pissed off, too. And the air is a little bit thin up there. Do you think you can get the job done, or do you think that Raheem them should bench you? Well, you see, uh, I think I can get the job done. You think or you know? I know. Okay, well, here's what I'm trying to get at. Everybody's up in arms. Hell, I'm pissed off. I was supposed to be at that game yesterday, but I had to go to North Carolina. You know, a little emergency that, that transpired. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't go to the bench yesterday. Because let's get one thing straight. As a season ticket holder... I spent a lot of fucking money to watch this team perform. However, losses is part of that 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 risk. To lose to the ain't yesterday, and I seen this coming. But the way we lost, I don't know, cool. I, 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 I don't I I don't know. What I can tell you is everything is gonna be all right with the Falcons. You see. The Broncos lost to a team that we should have beat that the refs kind of, you know, overlooked some things and let the cheese just kind of slide on in. A lot of teams that have been playing the Kansas City Cheese, honestly, ain't that good. And honestly, the Cheese only been winning by one possession. It's like being only one game. I think that was the Bucks last week that they just blew out. Oh, and the Niners. That's it. Everybody else been right on their ass. And Sunday, they have the Bills. That loss is coming, Cheese. Get ready for it. I, I, I can't wait to see how you're going to handle it when it happens. As far as, as our division go, the NFC South, Atlanta is still damn near three games up. Actually, we are because the Bucks lost. So we're three games up the tie breaking the Saints. Five games up on them. I mean, for God's sakes. They, 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 they got to win like fucking three in a row. And then... They'll tie us. Then they have to be. So we're four games up on them and the Panthers. And let's face it. Atlanta, the, the last seven games, we're going to win at least five of those games, maybe even six. Okay. The only game I'm remotely really worried about is the Commanders. Vikings almost lost to the Jaguars yesterday. Now, anything can happen in the NFL. But what I can tell you is we will have a winning record. Everybody just calm down. Take a deep breath. The Saints were a division team. Now they have the overall win again, up by one in the, in, in, in the overall meeting, right? Like 50, 55, 55 or some shit. They, they, they took that win column back. That's fine. But hey, we still got the division on lock. We got two AFC games in the grand scheme of things. The win matters in the win column, but they're not conference games. After that, we got the Vikings. That game is going to matter because that's a conference game. We got the Panthers at the end of the season, and in there somewhere we got the Giants and the Commanders, okay? Those four games especially are going to matter. But the next three AFC games is fucking the Broncos, then we got a bye week, the Chargers on my birthday, and then we got one more Monday night football game in Vegas. That's all AFC West. 
Every one of those games is going to help the Chiefs in the grand scheme of things because we're going to beat those teams most likely. And, and really the only one that might give us a, 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 a run for our money will be the Chargers. Falcon fans, it's going to be okay. Cool drop ball, but it's going to be okay. I, I expect us to at least drop a game or two along the way. It just will have me drop them to the Saints. Okay. 11, 6, 12, 5. Getting 13 and 4 now. It's going to be a hard road. We got to basically win out now. Uh, I'm watching what's going to happen with the NFC North, of course, and the NFC East, uh, the Eagles, Commanders, and, you know, of course, the uh, fucking Lions right now are jousting for first and second place. We're locked daily in third. The. Cardinals is nipping at us. They won their six and four. They they the jet lad jets need to put they 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 uh jets up, put them back in the garage. They pretty much done for the season. So depending on what happens with the Niners, the Cardinals, the Lions play tonight against a Miami Dolphins team that they that not the Lions, the Rams that they should beat. Uh so that division is getting very competitive right now. Uh the Seahawks, you can't write them out just yet, neither. So Atlanta just need to focus on themselves. Just win a division. Try not to be the fourth seed. Let's stay second, third. And if we can win out, just for the first place. But right now, the first place is going to come down to either the Lions, hate to say Vikings, Packers, right? Eagles. They're all seven and eight. And only the Lions are the only eight, the eight uh, win team. But Vikings, Commanders, and the Eagles right now are all seven game-winning teams. Green Bay will probably get their seven win next week. We should, too. So everybody's like jousting right there. We just want to stay ahead of the NFC West. So Falcon fans, we're going to be all right. We will make the playoffs. If, if you guys think we were just going to lose out, y'all lost y'all fucking minds. We can win this division with just winning eight games because the Bucks suck, the Saints suck, Panthers suck. So if they if any if the Panthers and the Saints lose two more games at best, you can write them off. All Atlanta gotta do is win eight fucking games. That's it. And the way the Buccaneers are going, if they lose two more games at least, we can write them off because they can't tie us. We swept them in the division. So all Atlanta gotta do is basically win two or three games in the next seven and it's playoffs. Now Getting that, that second or, or, or maybe first seed, they have to play. That loss yesterday kind of it, it kind of made it hard to, to really talk, talk about second and first placement. But if we can get that third place seed, we know we'll host one guaranteed home game, maybe two. Uh, four seed really only guarantees you one unless the seventh seed Molly Wops the second and the sixth seed Molly Wops the third. And at that point, then we'll host a uh, division round here, but that's rare that that happens, but it could uh, this season. So all, all bets are off right now um, with second and third because anything can happen with the week. Uh, Thursday night football is going to dictate that. So no matter what team wins Thursday night, they will go eight, and that's between the Eagles and the Commanders. What I would like to happen, the Commanders lose another game. Or if they, we beat the Eagles already, so they drop one game, stay seven and three, and the Commanders go to eight and four, and then we win as we go seven and four, and just stay behind the Commanders, and we beat them in five weeks or six weeks, then we can we can we can steal that second seed, assuming they win those games until they get to us and and, and vice versa. So right now Atlanta is is a sure a sure lock for third, and that's nothing to sneeze at. Just having a winning record for the first time in like fucking seven years would be awesome. It'd be fucking awesome. So it's one game at a time. Winning nine games this season is well within a possibility, most likely. Clinton the playoffs is highly likely, especially what's going to happen next week with some of these teams um, in our division. So, guys, take a deep breath. But if this man here keep missing field goals, then it might be time to um, to get rid of him because, you know, we should have beat Seattle. We had him. Like I said, ours, we had him. We should have whooped them. 
when you miss your kicks. I'm just saying, cool. You got tightened up, man. You, you got tightened up. But at least we ain't them cowboys, though. Lord have mercy. They in the grave right now. Eagles was saying, I fly away yesterday to that place. Way over yonder. Going to say King Jesus. Now, the Cowboys ain't dead just yet. But when Houston get done with, because they are pissed. When Houston get done with y'all, oh, Lord. You can just go ahead and unmark the grave. Just cover the dirt up. See, right now, they in the grave. They ain't been buried just yet, but they in the grave. Houston get done with them. You can just cover them on up, unmark the grave, and then the commander can put the headstone on them. That'd be it for the Cowboys this season. They ain't got to hear about who and how about them Cowboys. Oh, Lord. Y'all don't even understand how happy I am, considering how we lost yesterday. But anyway, it's been your boy, your boy, Matner. Had to get that off my chest. Now I got to talk about some Dragon Ball crap before I go have my free meals on Veterans Day. You all take care. And Falcons, let's go to Denver. Rise up this Sunday. It's going to be in the 40s. And if it's snow, we have the better run game. Either way, we should go to mile high and really put our hurting on both Knicks. We, we, we should. We, we are a better team than Kansas City, by the way. I'm just putting it out there. Just remember what happened in week three. I just want you fucking cheese fans to understand that. We are a better team than the Chiefs. Y'all won't get past the division round or the AFC championship round this year. I'll go out on the limb and say this here. If y'all make it to the Super Bowl, I hate to say this, because I don't want to jinx us. If y'all make it there, oh, we will be in there. That's just how I know y'all ain't going to make it. Because honestly, it's not our year to go. But if y'all, by some miracle, make it to the Super Bowl, Atlanta going to be y'all opponent. Because payback, and it's in New Orleans. <laughs> They'll piss the Saints fans off even worse. But to see y'all get defeated by us, to get our first ring off of y'all after how y'all stole that game here, Oh, there'll be the greatest comeback revenge story of all time. But it ain't meant to be. But I'm going to pray that happens. You all take care of me, boys, for a matter. I'm not going to Peace.